And let's continue to talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars. You heard from Travis Etienne. We also heard today from Trevor Lawrence, Jaguars starting quarterback, entering year two of his career. Etienne and Lawrence were teammates at Clemson, now teammates in Jacksonville, both experiencing the crap first year of their respective careers. Here's Lawrence on new head coach Doug Peterson and whether to what extent quarterback and head coach are on the same page. I really like his demeanor. He's really, really calm. I mean, similar, honestly, to, to Coach Bevel as far as demeanor. Really calm, never gets too high or too low. Um, so I really like that. That's the type of guy I like to be around. And then as far as just offensively, bring some different things to the table. Obviously, we haven't been together for long. It only really started on, on Monday, so can't say too much right now. But really like the way he thinks about things and just how he, the offense is so complimentary. Um, and just how he schemes things up. I think it's, he does a really good job of finding the weak points of defenses and exposing them. And I just think he's really smart. And being able to talk to him, I think we align pretty well and we're, we're on the same page. And how he presumably won't abandon the team after a rough Thursday night loss or have videos <laughs> emerge of him engaged in extracurricular activities at a public place when he otherwise should be with the team and not kick a kicker, allegedly. Those are all positives for Doug Peterson. None of those things have happened during his time as an NFL head coach. Who would have thought that those would actually be selling points? But in Jacksonville, they definitely <laughs> are. Well, yeah, you start down at the bottom, Mike, and work your way up. 13 games Urban Meyer lasted last, last year. And, and it's unfortunate for Trevor Lawrence, and we see it a lot with number one overall picks, quarterbacks I'm talking about, and high picks. And we saw Baker Mayfield and, you know, just the change of head coach and the change of offensive coordinator and the change of system and the change of verbiage and, and everything that goes into that. And it really has set a lot of quarterbacks back, which is why you like what the Bengals did last year. They were able to keep Zach Taylor and you saw him build on what they did the first year, build on what Joe Burrow did the first year. And I think that was really important for Joe Burrow. Now, Jaguars, obviously, they were going to move on from Urban Meyer, but it's just unfortunate from Trevor Lawrence that, that he really has to start over now. I don't know if it was a totally a lost rookie season, Mike, but there wasn't much good to come out of it. Maybe you learn how to be a pro. Maybe you learn what's expected of you. Maybe you read defenses a little bit better, but he's really sort of starting over now, but he does have a good head coach now and Doug Peterson who played the position, Mike. And I know one positive development for Trevor Lawrence last year in the final game of the season when the Jaguars came together and beat yeah. the Colts for as bad as that was for the Colts that can be a flicker for Trevor yeah. Lawrence and company coaching staff gone but Lawrence is still there and I think Peter King has talked about this in the past on a Friday edition of PFT Live, how Lawrence really stepped up in that moment. And that was kind of when he became an NFL quarterback. And, hey, you take whatever you can get in a crap season like that where your head coach is creating more distractions than anyone in the organization, and he's doing so repeatedly. So that's good news for the Jaguars. Now, look, between the Jaguars, Texans, and Jets – I put all three of them in the no chance to contend in the AFC this season category. But who knows? I'm going to be the last one to say this year <laughs> that there's any team that has no chance of making the playoffs, especially Hello, the team that's entering the second year with the first overall pick at quarterback. That's for damn sure. That's not happening again. But the Jaguars, anything they do this year is house yeah. money. Anything they do is above expectations because with all those great teams, the three teams quickly left to the side are Jaguars, Texans, Jets. So you win five games this year, that's a damn good year. Anything more than that, hey, have a ticker tape parade in Jacksonville. And if they're even in playoff contention when Christmas rolls around, that's the best Christmas present anyone in Jacksonville can get. Well, they got to figure out how to beat the Texans. I mean, that, that's where you start, Mike. Until you can beat the Texans, you lost to them la twice last year. Until you beat the Texans, you're going to be at the bottom of your division. So I think that's where you start in, in trying to, to make that next step. But the, the talent is upgraded. The coaching staff obviously is upgraded. You think you have your franchise quarterback. I think it's yet to be seen based on what he did last year. But this is a team that, you know, a couple years from now, I think they could be contenders. They, they have that talent. They have the coaching staff 
Doug Peterson's won a Super Bowl. He played the position. He's, he played 100 games in the NFL at quarterback. He's dealt with really good quarterbacks. He's dealt with mediocre quarterbacks, and he's made them better. And so I just think that's going to be really good for Trevor Lawrence. And you're right. Anything they do this season, winning more than three games, four games, is going to be a success as this team tries to move forward. And this could be a team that you see win six or seven games. And if they do that, Mike, it's really, really a success story, and I think you're going to see them get good really quickly if they can get that momentum this season. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.